What's going on guys and welcome back to a black bun fried frog burger feast <laughs> That's a real thing um, I would want to try it one day uh, But yeah, that's a real thing look it up <laughs> if you want to uh, But in this video all we're going to be doing guys is setting up redux and From here on out it's going to be a very long thing for redux So if you want to learn redux then here we go so the first thing we're going to do is actually install or add the package Redux in our application. So yarn, add, add Redux, Redux. And for now, I'm actually, you could actually go to Redux tutorial, just type in Redux tutorial. It should be the very first one on there. And right here, you will get the basics of everything. Action, reducers, the store data flow usage with react which we will be talking about the actions reducer store and the data flow but for right now all we're going to be doing is creating a store a store is a place where all of our data the state is going to be set at that is it you can actually look it up right here go to api store a store holds the host state tree of our application that's even better words than i would have than, than i just put it so that's what we're going to be on. That's what we're going to be doing today. Just creating a store and that is it. So in our source folder, I am going to be creating a new folder called store. Inside of store, I am going to be creating a new file called, you can call it whatever you don't want, but I'm going to call it budget store dot JS. And here we're going to import some stuff from Redux. Now, like I said, we are going to be creating a store and the thing that we're going to be importing is literally called create store. This is going to help us create a store. How convenient. So down below, I'm going to create a const. I'm going to call it store. And this is where we're going to actually create our store. This is going, this store, this variable store is going to hold all our store. We're going to call create store. Now create store does take in a function. So we're going to just throw in an arrow function and this arrow function does need some attributes. I mean, not attributes, arguments inside of it. The first of which is called state. Now we already talked about what is state. Like literally it's the state tree of our application. This is it. This is it. We've, you already know what state is. I shouldn't go over it once again. Now it does take an other argument, which is called action, but we'll talk about that in the next video. So don't worry about it right now. We're going to worry about state now state. Obviously there is no state. We haven't passed in a state. We haven't created a state yet. So what we could do right here is that if we have not have, have not have created a state, we're actually going to define, define a, an, a default state. So I'm going to set state equal to an object with counter being zero for now. Now, the reason I put counter as zero is because right here and getting started at we're going to be doing this kind of a demo of redux and they do it as a i guess a counter application which is counts up one by one by two by three whatever you want and then decrements as well so we're going to start off with this because this is the very basics of it but don't worry slowly we're going to combine it into our budget store that's why i sent counter to zero for now now like i said we haven't passed in the state. We haven't created a state. So I'm just setting the default. If they don't pass it or we haven't created it, we're going to set our default state to counter being zero. And all I'm going to do inside of here is literally return what this current state is right now. Now, in order to use this in our application.js, we do need to export this. So what I'm going to do up above is actually going to export default. A function and inside that function we're gonna pass this in and we're gonna return the store just like that okay all right now in our app.js we're gonna just import it so import uh, we could call it I'm gonna call it budget store from store 
dash budget store. All right, now that we have that, since we are exporting our store, which is uh, this create store object, we do need to come by and actually const store and store it in a store once again. So I'm just going to store it in a very good store budget store. And down below, I'm again going to console log out our store. Okay, now what this does is literally gives us back an object of the things that we could do with store. It'll give us back an object of functions that we could do. Where's the inspect? If we go to console, there it is. This is our object, and this is all of the functions that we could actually do with our store. Now, for now, we do get dispatch, subscribe, get state, replace reducers, and all, and... Well, yeah, it's just these kind of four things that we're going to be mostly playing around with. So we are going to be talking about dispatch in the next video. Um, subscribe also in the next video. But for right now, I'm just going to get state. Now, you, I'm pretty sure you already know what get state does. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's literally just going to return the state. Oh. Get state. State save and it's going to return just our state of the application which is defined right here because we haven't even defined it yet and don't worry we are going to define it later on in the videos but for right now in this video that was it this is all we're going to do for this video this is just the base of redux this is i'm just giving you the base so that way you could actually play around with it if you want learn a little bit more like i said this is actually a phenomenal doc to actually read. It, it tells you, it actually explains Redux pretty well. Um, but yeah, for now, we're going to just be creating our store, which we just did. And next video, we are going to be talking about dispatching action. Dispatch, dispatching actions. I think I'm saying that right. And that's basically telling the store what we want to do. Oh, we want to increment by one. We want to decrement by 10. We want to set counter to zero that those are called actions and we're going to be doing that in the next video. So I hope you stay tuned guys because this is going to be getting very interesting because React and Redux are, are I don't know how to say this, but you know, you know what I'm talking about because every time you hear, you hear React, you always hear Redux right behind it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video honestly i really do thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video and i hope to see you in the next video bye